Yo guys, what is going on? Numnex is here, bring you guys a live Wi-Fi battle again. I know you guys wanted me to do this, so I definitely brought them back. And uh, what better than to just tweet it out? You know, I just tweeted out right now at this moment that I am looking for Wi-Fi battles. I just got home, so this battle is going to be uploaded a little bit late. I want to say like 7, uh, somewhere around there, 7.30. So I apologize about that, but I just got home. I uh, know I don't stress it quite enough god look at his team but i'm testing on my team but god look at his team i know i don't stress it enough though but um if we can hit 200 likes that'd be great question of the day do you think um oh who do you, who is the worst mega in your opinion like the mega that does the least damage you know it's just like you think it's pitiful shouldn't even be a mega period please answer that in the comments section down below and i will definitely try and apply to most of you guys but um yeah, let's get with it. I don't know who he's going to lead off with. I should be taking an image of his team right now. What the hell am I doing? Oh, my God. I was going to go in there blind. All right, just take an image of his team. I got, like, 40 seconds left. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> okay, so 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 let's lead off with the Genesect. Why not? That's a pretty optimal lead. He's probably going to lead off with the Espeon or the Infernape. Either or. You could be real and lead off with his Star Raptor and Cloyster. Lead off with the offensive lead, but... You know, I don't know what he's going to lead off with. Uh, he's got a pretty decent team, you know. Uh, doesn't handle rocks too well, so I need to get rid of the Espeon. And that kind of just gets rid of the the rock weakness, you know. He's got a... His team can't take rocks well. Oh, ends up leading off the Star Raptor. Okay, so... God, I, I just ate, so I'm really... You know, I'm really comfy, but... <laughs> Alright, so... Ends up leading out the Star Raptor. Uh, he's most likely Scarf or Banded. What really annoys me is my Rocky Helmet. I meant to pick up Rocky Helmet and put it on my Skarmory, but I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. Maybe I might have turned off my game and not saved when I picked it up. Oh, shit. I did do that. I See, I needed Rocky Helmet for this battle. I could have taken care of his Star Raptor, Pinsir, and his Infernape. Oh, you know, I just I can't do it now, so... Just gonna come out to the Skarmory, you know, get damage. I don't know what item he's holding yet. If he wants to go for the U-turn or close combat, that's fine. I want to see how much damage it does. I can tell from the damage that if it's banded or scarfed. We're gonna figure out right here if it's banded or scarfed. Uh, be banded, be banded, be banded. That, I don't know, from that damage? Uh, let me see what other, is he holding life orb? Nope, I think he's actually banded because that, that did considerable amount of damage. Uh, 40 hit points? No, it's pathetic. Yeah, it's Choice Scarf. All right. That's a good lead, too. Uh, it's basically free rocks now. Okay. We got the rocks up. He can't... He's not real to go out into his Espeon. If he goes out to his Espeon, we don't have a spinner. So, I... Oh, shit. I didn't think that one through. I forgot about the Espeon. Uh, ends up coming out to hashtag Ghastly. Oh. Okay. Um... <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that is just great. A defensive wall against a sweeper who can also be a defensive wall. That is great. I got my rocks up. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I don't even need to think about this play. Uh, he really doesn't have anyone that can really handle my Skarmory besides his ape. And, well, I can still wall ape, but a flare blitz, I will not appreciate his ape. And his... Uh, uh, the, the 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 ghastly looking thing the uh what is this thing called cloister yeah ends up setting up on my face you don't do that on a special wall or a physical wall no 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 my friend i am gonna whirlwind them out of here as i take this nice drink i know it's not professional to like eat and drink but like have you tried narrating for like 20 minutes have you tried that you're gonna want to get thirsty your throat's gonna end up dry <clears throat> and especially when you're done eating and out all right but he comes up to the espion looking nice looking nice i want to keep this guy around mainly for his uh his uh, sh uh cloister his pincer actually just about everybody all right so my only fear right now is i don't know what kind of espion he is i i feel like he's dual screen light clay but at the same time, he might be offensive life orb calm mind. Uh, hoping he has psychic over size shock. I'm actually going to end up coming out to my chance. He might shadow ball here because that's all he can do to a Skarmory if he's offensive. And uh, ends up psychic. Yes! 
Thank you, base god. He has psychic over size shock. Nice. And he's life orb offensive. Okay, he's probably the calm mindset. What I can do here is I'm pretty free to just uh, seismic toss, get damage on the glide score. Uh, ends up wishing. He runs a, uh, a, a wish espion. I haven't seen that in forever. Okay. Uh, very luckily, I was going to go for the toxic predicting his ape. But, uh, you know, I got damage off. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going to end up going for another seismic toss. I have no reason not to. You know, he's not real to go out to his cloister. If he pulls out to his cloister right here, that's easy setup. And that could be a problem. <clears throat> but then again, I don't, want, I don't want to double out here because he might just end up going for like... Psychic, his Espeon is at weak damage, so I know that he wants to keep it at a high rate. Just, you know, so my Stealth Rock or my Spikes, you know, my Predict Spike, maybe Toxic, ends up doing what I feared that he would do. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Why do you guys come at me with, like, sweepers? <laughs> I swear. I know every time I tweet it up, people always want to battle me, and they bring, like, Swords Dance Talon Flame. Or, uh, I'm going to be real. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna stay in and we're gonna toxic. I know that he's gonna stay in and shell smash. I know that for a fact. I know he's gonna do that. I'm gonna take another slurp. I am I am very sorry if you guys don't like me taking slurps. I'm sorry if this commentary is bad. You know, but it's live. It's supposed to show your inner person and I like to drink soda. I don't know about you, but I like to drink soda. So, uh, ends up shell smashing. Oh, thank God that we got the poison off. The plan here is, I know that I can take, I, what, what the heck, I, yeah, pretty confident that I can take Icicle Spear uh, from that range. Uh, so I want to just continuously soft boiled. And looking at his team, Chansey's not going to be that much of a help. I mean, <clears throat> I do have a, hmm, I do have a Mammo as well, I have a Scarf Keldeo, so... Um, I'm just gonna soft blow. Yep, I have no reason not to. Don't double shell smash. If he double smashes, I might. Okay, he ends up going for the ice spear. Let's hope for no crits because if he gets a crit, we're gonna die. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, he got the crit. Okay, I actually calced it. I I could have lived that. I actually calced it right now. Uh, I I really called it. I did. You guys all heard me. I called it. I knew that, god damn it, always, every time, I don't know why, but hacks, you know, it just, it really is the best of me, really is the best of me, and I hate that, I was gonna soft boiled, and then I was gonna switch out, you know, but this didn't end up being the case, I did not want to go out to my Skarmory, I know that I could have taken a hit, but I guess I just wanted to be that guy and stall him, though I could have stalled him out to Skarmory, so I guess in a way I kind of did deserve that crit, you know, uh, I did deserve that crit. So he doesn't have anybody that can kind of handle a, or take a secret sword. What in the world? Uh, he's probably just going to end up staying in. I just now revealed that I am Choice Scarf. Uh, he might not know that I'm Choice Scarf. And you might just expect Keldeo to be super fast, which Keldeo is. Because that base 346 speed is nothing to laugh on. But we got rid of the Cloister. All right, Cloister's gone. Oh my god, that makes me so mad. I learned from my mistakes, though. You know, we all learn from our mistakes. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, so we took out the Cloister, the Espeon is practically dead, uh, the only big threat now is, uh, Star Raptor. The thing is, I don't know if Secret Sword will kill, I just know that I'm guaranteed to outspeed. Uh, I'm not risking it, nope, I am not risking it, just gonna go out to the Skarmory. I can't risk it, you know, I know that I outspeed, it's a fact, I know that I do, whether he's like banded or scarfed, Keldeo outspeeds, but you know, I just don't want to risk it, I don't want to risk him like living, but at the end of the day he would die, because if he did end up living, he would brave bird me like he is now, and he'd end up taking recoil, and uh, I don't, uh, that recoil would take him out. From him killing me off but i want my keldeo around though i don't really need it he's got a pincer but you know, it'd be nice to have around for the uh yeah what the heck am i talking about he's got a glide score i have a polytoad which i don't even know the ev spread on i had a guy give it to me at a stream i have yet to look at the ev spread i just threw in a choice bag because it's modest so i'm really testing out this team but i'm actually gonna end up whirlwinding out 
I know that his team can't touch me now that it's only... Or he has got like all physical attackers. So I know his team can't touch me. Ends up going out to the ape, which is great. On point. I was going to Brave Bird there, but you know, I did not want to risk it. So I'm going to end up whirlwinding. Uh, hopefully, it don't be the Goliath score. Ends up being you, little buddy. Okay. All right. You know what? That's great. <laughs> you want to play this game? We're going to play this game. <laughs> you got the crit on my chancy. Oh, God. Oh, man. I mean, in, a, in the long run, I guess the crit didn't matter because if I would have soft-boiled up, the Icicle Spear would have been a for sure taken me out. Or he could have just ice sharded or something. But, you know, I guess it did not end up mattering. Um, and I guess it would have been kind of stupid to do. So, in, in, at, at the end of the day, it didn't really matter. It did not matter whatsoever at all at the end of the day. So, I'm actually going to end up going for the Whirlwind here. I don't know what he's going to end up doing. But I ends up just roosting. So, is he... Is he expert bell? Did he just lock himself into roost? I don't know what item he has. I did not expect roost. Is he scarf star up there with roost? I I didn't know that was a thing. Ooh, that's some nice 25%. Okay, so I didn't know that was a, a thing. I What? Okay, my only this is my only wall now. And what I actually want to do is I could go out to Politoed, but I want to just Brave Bird here. Uh, he's probably going to predict a, uh, yeah, I'm going to Brave Bird here. I don't think he's going to go out to Glasgow. I think he's more along going to SD up. As he SDs up, not even Mega Evolving because he doesn't want to get Whirlwinded out, which is a really good play, actually, better than to Mega Evolve and for me to Whirlwind him out to take 50% damage. But uh, I think that Brave Bird should be able to knock him out, which it is. So the Horn Devil is gone. All right. So, uh, really, all I need to do now is I think I should be okay. I'm pretty safe to risk it now. I can't just like bring out my Keldeo. Uh, once I get rid of the ape, I don't know if maybe the ape is scarfed. The Star Raptor's expert belt. Maybe that's how it goes. You know, I just don't know. But um. What I'm actually going to end up doing is go for the Brave Bird. I'm going to end up Brave Birding. Yeah, why not? YOLO, you know? <laughs> and the Flare Blitzing. All right, Skarmory. I know that it's super effective stab, but can we take it? Is he Choice Band Life Orb? Uh, we can't take it. What item does he end up being? I don't know what item he is. Please be Life Orb. Uh, he take the Recoil. And I, I didn't see any Life Orb. But regardless, mm, Keldeo is fast as hell. So, I don't know. Maybe he's Expert Belt? Um... What am I worried about? I have a Politoed. I do want to bring out my Politoed, but it's a lot safer to bring out my Keldeo. That way, when he brings out the Gliscor, I can bring out my Politoed. There we go. All right, we're, we're prioritizing here. We're uh, rationalizing our uh, plays here. But what I can do is just go for... Uh, I don't know why I have Hydro Pump. I meant to replace it with Surf. Uh, ever since the battle lit power media, I just did not want to run Hydro Pump anymore. You know, just... Uh, Really came to play. If he ends up being Expert Belt and we end up missing the Hydro Pump and he gets off a Thunder Punch, we're screwed. Uh, hopefully, um, maybe. I feel like he's Choice Scarfed. If he's Choice Scarfed, then what we just did was terrible. But he ended up switching out. He's clearly locked in. All right, come to Star Raptor as Death Fodder. Maybe he's Assault the Star Raptor. I never thought of that. That's not bad. But we got the Hydro Pump off. And boom, bam, that is dead. I don't think a Star Staraptor can take a T-Bolt. Maybe it can, I don't know. I think it has like base 80 HP, doesn't it? I'm not too sure. But um, the Staraptor is dead. Now he's going to bring out the Espeon. Okay, what I can do on the Espeon is I can actually stay in because I am Choice Scarfed. A Hydro Pump will be able to knock him out from that range. Um, His Infernape is still alive. I need my Keldeo and I don't want to risk a miss. So what I'm actually going to end up doing is I don't know if he has hidden power fire. It is shiny. I don't know if he got it off of, if he bred it, maybe got it off Pokebank. Pokebank is not released, but, you know, there's people who have it still. I don't know. You know, I just, uh, this would honestly be the best play to come on a Politoed right here. I'm actually going to end up coming to a Politoed right around here. Politoed is very bulky. I uh, pray to God that he has max HP, max special attack, because uh, that'd be a lot better. But look at the Politoed. The Politoed is here. The Poly is here with that drizzle. All right. I don't know what he's going to do, though. Um, ends up psychic. Okay. I, I have nothing to worry about then. Poly, can you take the hit, buddy? Ah, it's a 2 hit KO. No. 
<laughs> Polly did absolutely nothing in this battle, unfortunately. I don't think he's max HP. Either he's not max HP. That thing is hella bulky. Uh, can you miss a psychic? <laughs> no, he can't miss a psychic, Polly Toad. <laughs> My fears of... Oh, he even got a crit. He really wanted to kill the Politude. But my fears of it having HP fire, I have to stop. We're not on showdown. We're on Wi-Fi. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to come out to my Genesect here. That might have been... Uh, the Politude would have been great because Politude, I know, can take anyone here from anybody on his team. And uh, at least I got the rain up, which is at least good for at least like five turns. So the Infernape really can't touch my Genesect. Uh, I don't know. He might be content. He might be fearing out the scarf. What I'm gonna do here is reveal my uh, my extreme speed, and I'm gonna end up going for that extreme speed. I want him to assume that I am choice band the Genesect, though I do uh, have a choice band Genesect. I think it's in the making, but uh, that thing is gone. That 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 thing is gone. Oh, that thing is gone. All right, the uh, Infernape is here. All right, what I can do on the Infernape is I can actually end up staying in, and with him having the recoil, he can end up dying off. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I have the attack raise. I cannot remember, but it is an Espeon that was out on the field. So I'm just gonna assume that I have the attack raise, and I'm gonna end up staying in, going for the extreme speed. I should take it off from that range. Uh, yes. All right. <clears throat> Um, we're good. We're looking good. I really made the match more clutch than I should have. But, um, you know, I guess some stuff had to happen. Brings out the Goliath score. The rock damage is there. All right. So what I'm actually going to end up doing now is I'm going to reveal to him now that I am expert belt. And I'm going to reveal to him that I'm just going to go for the, uh, ice beam here. He ends up protecting to scout out. I guess that was a good play, though. I think it's his last Pokemon. Is it not? I would assume that it's his last Pokemon. The rain is now gone. Okay, that's understandable. The Infernape is gone. We don't even need the rain anymore. But, um, yeah, it's his last Pokemon. All right, GG, bro. All right, that was a really fun match, actually. I learned um, that Politoed cannot take Life Orb Psychics that well. I, for some reason, was really fearing Hidden Power Ice. I've learned a lesson. Or Hidden Power Fire, I've learned a lesson. Nobody carries hidden power fire on their espion anymore i thought i was the only guy i found some people on the ladder you know uh ended up losing a life today r.i.p slippy to toad r.i.p i'm not gonna save the replay because i just battled them but r.i.p slippy to toad it's up to you if you guys enjoyed this uh live narration we should have smacked that like button starting to get to 200 likes the support is phenomenal we are nearing 20k i cannot wait till we hit 20k it's gonna be incredible i'm gonna change the question of the day who do you think is the worst mega Pokemon that they have created? And uh, until the next time, guys, I will catch you all later.